Over the summer, a new app was released called Pokemon Go. The game has caught attention of many people. A lot of students at Sevier have different opinions on this game. I think that it, it's a very cool game about how it gets you to exercise and everything, but there are, like, it could be very dangerous in some situations. I think Pokemon Go is a really neat app that has just been released in July that plays off of the uh, Nintendo games that came out several years ago and uh, is encouraging kids to get out and uh, walk and, and do some extra things. Uh, Mr. Moulds makes a joke about it almost every day. I hear about Pokemon Go from about every class that I have, and that's just at school. So I've got Pokemon Go out my ears. It's an app on your cell phone that, uh, by Nintendo. I know that it's a game that kids love to play. They go out and capture little um, characters all over the community. I have heard that it is a very dangerous thing to do. So far, Pokemon Go has an income of $200 million from players downloading the app and buying in-app purchases. People have been playing for many reasons. I've heard rumors and I wouldn't have time to play this unless I buy it. Um, it is fun because, you know, you get to walk around, do stuff, and see what you can get. It makes it fun to go outside. I think if it's used in moderation like anything, uh, it's good for kids to get outside and they seem to be having a lot of fun with it. So yeah, I think I would. Well, I mean, it gives me something else to do besides having to grade papers all the time. And plus, I think it's going to be an Olympic sport next time around. So Pokemon Go 2020. I think it's, it's probably uh, used appropriately. It's probably wonderful. Get you outside, do some things, um, but just don't walk in front of any cars. I've never played it myself, so I'm not a good judge as to whether it's fun or not, but I think the people that play it have a lot of fun. Lots of players have not been cautious while playing and have gotten hurt. These students do not like hearing this. Wait, you get hurt by playing Pokemon Go? I'm not too fond of it, obviously. Maybe look up every once in a while while playing. I mean, it's terrible. I mean, it's just a game. You don't have to go, like, you know, to get hurt to get, like, a special Pokemon or something. It's, like, kind of stupid. Practice. It even says in the app, be aware of your surroundings. People getting hurt is for their stupidity. Some students have been playing Pokemon Go at school. Most teachers and administrators discourage students from playing the game during school hours. I don't think students should play any kind of game on their phone at school because then they're not focused on their learning and that's why we're at school is to learn. I'm not really worried about people playing in class because uh, that can be something I can deal with pretty pretty quickly but people playing in school I think it would be something that they should be doing before or after school really and uh, I know that they want to be playing that all the time and I understand that but uh, if they're gonna catch a Pokemon during class then I'm gonna have to catch a student and catch them all the way down to the office. I think because we don't have phones that severe, we haven't had an issue, but I do know of some before and after school that kids have been playing at some in severe, and I see nothing wrong with that. If there's a Pokemon in the band room, by golly, I hope you load it up on Pokeballs. People have different opinions on whether you should play Pokemon Go or not. I wouldn't recommend it to people just because of how many injuries there have been, even though it is a like very good game for exercise, if there are like a bunch of people who are getting injured. Because it really gets you outside and interacts with nature. Um, I recommend it because it's fun to play. Uh, I recommend Pokemon to go to any of people out there because it has actually helped children with autism get outside and be more social. Reporting from SSN, this has been Brianna and Ty.